she's doubting whether to go because she doesn't want to leave her mother alone on Staten Island. Vita starts writing an email to politely decline CalArts when a notification pops up that her crush, JP Guerrero, tagged her in a photo she took from him. At the same time, her friend Sydney video calls her. They talk about Venus's CalArts application and about a new online game called Nerve. Sydney opens up the game and a robotic voice explains how Nerve is like truth or dare, photographer so she goes to the school's football match to take photos for the school newspaper. Her friend Sydney is a cheerleader and before the game starts, she asks a friend to film her for Nerve. Turns out, she has a dare from the game and has to show her naked but during the match. Everybody is in shock, but Sydney completes the challenge and wins a few bucks in the process. Next, we see all types of challenges completed on Nerve. When you enroll as a player, the game takes all of your data and knows what kind of challenges to send. Anonymous watchers pay to see their favorite players compete to the finals. The watchers can also give dares to the players Aaron that she's not his type. Venus is embarrassed in front of everyone so she leaves the restaurant, goes home, and in a fit of anger, signs up on Nerve as a player. The robot voice from the game explains how the two players with the most watchers go to the finale and then explains the three rules, all dares must be filmed to be approved, a player will get eliminated if they fail or bail and snitches get stitches. Then the game asks for her fingerprint as a way to ID her. As she puts her finger on the screen, Nerve automatically creates her profile, taking all her information, including bank accounts, pictures, and favorite books. She immediately gets a dare, to kiss a stranger, but V nervously kisses him and completes the dare. In an instant, she runs away and hides in Tommy's booth who's filming the dare. The mysterious guy disappears, but Tommy and V quickly notice him dancing and singing in the diner. Venus thinks she's singing to her, but Tommy explains it's all part of the game. The guy, Ian, is playing the game too and has a dare just like she did. Ian completes the challenge and sits right next to V and Tommy. Then he tells them how he was reading to the lighthouse because that was a dare too. While talking, both Ian and Venus, she gets dared to try a dress in an expensive store. Meanwhile, Nancy is confused because she's receiving lots of money in her bank account under V's name. Also, Tommy is concerned about V's safety so he signs up as a watcher and starts watching her feet. In the store, V is having a great time. Plus, she finds out Ian has the same challenge as her so they spend more time together. This time, dressed in couture. But as they have fun, another player, Ty, has a dare to steal their clothes from the changing rooms. V and Ian soon notice their clothes are Tommy still suspects the game so he calls Sydney and talks about V behind her back. Sydney learns V's in the top 10 players and gets jealous. Tommy also contacts one of his hacker friends to get a passkey to a site called Aruba to find more about Ian and Nerve. He learns that Ian was part of another series of challenges in Seattle that ended tragically, with a player dying. Meanwhile, Venus gets a new dare to get a tattoo that Ian chooses. Since he remembered her favorite book, he picks a lighthouse. They start opening up and get closer to each other. Live stream of Ian and V, filmed by other watchers. Sydney gets upset because she's isn't the center of attention anymore. Plus, during the live stream, Ian starts asking V about Sydney and she starts bashing her friend. She tells him that Sydney always puts her down and uses her to feel better about her own insecurities. Ian then suggests they go to the party where Sydney is at so that V can show her how cool she really is. Venus doesn't know she's actually being recorded by Ian and everybody at the party hears her gossiping. Meanwhile, Nancy calls Tommy and asks him why V isn't returning her calls and why is she receiving a lot of money in her bank account. Tommy lies to her. She's scared but she can't go back as she needs to complete the challenge to stay in the game. Sydney starts walking on the ladder when one guy yells that she has to film the dare, otherwise it won't count. She takes the phone out of her back pocket and starts filming herself while shaking. People start yelling and arguing with each other about whether or not Sydney has to film herself. She tells them to stop so she can concentrate, stands up, and continues to walk. But, already on her second step, she slips and her phone drops on the ground. Nerve tells her she failed the dare desperate paparazzi. V sees Tommy and waves at him, but he looks disappointed in her. She also learns that Sydney was kicked out from the game, goes to the bedroom to find her, and enters in on Sydney making out with JP, Venus's crush. The two of them get into a massive fight in front of everybody and say hurtful things to each other. Sydney even says that the coolest thing about V is her deceased brother. While they are fighting, Venus gets another challenge, to complete Sydney's failed dare for $15,000. Just to show that she's better than Sydney, V goes to the ladder and walks it all the way to the other bills. Ian tells her not to go because the third rule of the game was that snitches get stitches. She finds a police officer and starts telling him everything. Little does she know that at the exact moment, all the money from her mother's bank account goes missing. The game punishes V because she broke the rule. Instantly, Ty arrives and apologizes to V before punching her in the face. It was his dare. 
Next thing we know, V wakes up in a storage unit where a computer explains how she must win the finals to exit the game. The robotic voice tells her to go on the Staten Island Ferry. He told them to give him a difficult challenge so he can beat Ty and end up with V in the finals. There, he will let her win so she can return to her normal life. But, V isn't satisfied with this idea. She contacts Tommy and asks for his help. Tommy arrives with Sydney who apologizes to V. The friends forgive each other and V explains her plan. She wants Tommy to change Nerve's code and reveal all the Watcher's identities. That way, all of them will log out and the game will stop. She also sends Sydney on a secret mission that isn't revealed until the end of the fists. Ian arrives and their final dare is to shoot each other. Whoever shoots first, wins the game. Ian tells V to shoot him but she can't so nobody wins. While all of this is happening, Tommy is at his hacker friends and Nancy arrives. All of them are trying to change the game's code and reveal the anonymous watchers. They are having a hard time too since a lot of bots are blocking them. Suddenly in the ring, Ty appears with a gun and he's willing to shoot Ian just to win. 